Hey Capricorns, welcome to your weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. So hello everybody, and for those who are new to my channel, hello, again, <laughs> you get two hellos apparently. Um, for those of you who are not aware of my videos or how my videos tend to work, I always go through my meditative session with you first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that is coming from you directly, um, or energy that I'm picking up on someone in your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to. Keep in mind, it is energy so it can be vice versa if I pick up on energy that you're connect that that is belonging to someone that you may be connecting with okay so cappies I just got to be honest and upfront I picked up on some heavy stuff <laughs> okay actually the first word I heard was juggernaut and it's funny because I actually don't know what that word means <laughs> I'll be honest I, I did it I was like juggernaut isn't that like a comic book character like I was like I like I, I I totally admit it guys like I am a numbers person first and foremost I'm a numbers person so I looked it up and I was like oh okay I get it and, I, and it was kind of what I was sensing already so for those who don't know sometimes my guides give me words and I'm like I don't know that word and I gotta like go look it up but anyway juggernaut that's not that's a word I've never used in my entire life honest to god so juggernaut a juggernaut, for those who don't know, uh, is a very powerful, almost unstoppable force or or institution, apparently, uh, which, oh, actually, okay, they just gave me a download. I'm trying to hold on to the stuff that they've already given me for you guys. In regards to the patriarchy, there we might be seeing some stuff this month more. Well, we're just going to be seeing more, honestly. We're going to see more and more upsetting stuff when it comes to the patriarchy all the way up through uh, even to 2020, uh, but it will lead to an eventual dismantling, okay? So just keep that in mind. We might be some being, seeing something big, 14th to the 16th. That's weird, that just came to me. Um, we might be seeing something big, 14th to the 16th. I feel like it's more of a localized, okay, this is weird. I'm getting a crazy download all of a sudden. Um, uh, more of a localized event. I don't think it's gonna be global. I think it's gonna be something located in, give me country, give me country, give me country. No, they're not giving it to me. Oh, damn it. They're not giving it to me. It's going to be an isolated incident, whatever that is. I feel like it's going to be isolated to one government. Anyway, neither here nor there. Back to you, Capricorns. <laughs> that was crazy. Back to you, Capricorns. Oh, I just realized the full moon's on the 14th of September, so something might be revealed about something that actually already happened, and there might be some upsetness as expected. Anyway, Capricorns, back to you. Uh, there's, there's, there's a force coming. There's, there's, there's a kind of force coming. There's an event coming. It feels a very towery. It could definitely be a tower moment because towers are inevitable. I feel like they're, I personally, that's my belief that tower moments are inevitable and they're very much needed. Okay. So Capricorn, first and foremost, I feel like you guys have been on a really good train for a good while in these last couple months where you've been climbing to the top of whatever it is you've been trying to climb up on, whether it's self growth or I just heard some of you guys. I love I, Capricorns. I love you. I heard some of you go, who I'm trying to climb up on. Okay, I got it. I got it. Good for you. Good for you. I see you. I see you. Who you've been trying to climb up on. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> or climbing the corporate ladder, expanding yourself, expanding your career. A lot of you have been on that train for a while and feeling like the really good effects of that. Some of you have also been battling depression for sure and you've been trying to climb out of that and you've been doing a good job at that. Now, Capricorns, unfortunately, I feel like recent past, like the last week or two, and even for some of you, it might just be starting with this force, that you're starting to feel a decline of that, a decline of that yummy, successful, powerful, being on top energy. And some of you, it's really bumming you out. It is. But guys, I really want to want to emphasize with you that, yeah, we climb, we climb, we climb. But sometimes we can only climb so far with the resources and knowledge and skills that we have. And that's why these towers are important because, or these juggernauts are important because then we have a decline, but that's only so that we can grow, right? That's so we can learn. That's so we can experience some heartache and hardship, which will make us stronger and make us stronger in our will, our strength, what have you, so we can rise even higher than we were able to before, okay? That's why towers are very important. Some of you, this is about a transition within a relationship, for sure, because I was picking up on a lot of... Um, sexy lusty romantic energy they actually were, were showing me people but let's not get into that uh that's your business that's not my business not my business i don't need to advertise that on youtube on what you guys were doing or who you're doing it to anyway <laughs> capricorns uh some of you reached a nice peak in a relationship which usually happens then you feel that decline and then you get the juggernaut you get that tower 
And for some of you, it feels really big. I gotta be honest. For some of you, it feels like it's gonna be really, really big. I don't think you guys have experienced this yet. If you have, you have. We all work through energy differently, but I feel like it's upcoming. I do feel like it's upcoming for you. Um, and when you experience it, I feel like it's going to send you into hermit mode quite a bit. They, it's really sad what they showed me. They actually showed me like a running goat, like a goat that was like running away in fear. There was other shit going on, but the other shit doesn't matter. But that's the big, that's the big takeaway. Um, and, and Capricorns, you guys don't run away from stuff. You guys don't run in fear. You don't do that. Capricorns don't do that. You're very stubborn uh, in a good way. In a good way. I love you, Cappies. I love you, Cappies, in a really good way. And that serves you well. But this juggernaut or tower event, it's almost like you know you need to. I know. It feels heavy. I know. I'm not trying to make you guys nervous. Like I said, towers happen so we can fall a little bit and pick ourselves back up heal get stronger get wiser so that we can rise even higher than we were able to before it's all to give us more tools for our toolbox for life okay that's how what towers are for so just keep that in mind um and this energy that i was picking up on this last day romantic energy i feel like it was happening before and after so i feel like for some of you it's that peak of that like honeymoon phase or it's like that peak of just being really into each other and then boom the tower happens you're a little devastated you go into isolation you go into hermit mode to heal and then for some of you that you guys almost like have it come back uh threefold is what i just heard threefold you have the energy come back threefold and then boom you get to rise even higher than you were before with this <coughs> excuse me with this individual mm. For some of you, like I said, it's just to help you expand and rise higher in your careers or in your self-growth, okay? So just keep that in mind, Cappies, that no matter what happens, you guys are going to be on top even higher than you were previously, okay? All right, Capricorns, let's go ahead and get into this. For anybody who are, uh, who's new to my channel or new to Tarot, uh, please keep in mind these are very general messages. Messages come through for those who really need to hear them. So if this isn't your story, it isn't your story. No need to throw any hate or shade. Just go ahead and check out another reader, okay? <laughs> I can't read for everybody at once. Sorry. Just is how it is, okay? Also, guys, you already know that messages can be vice versa because it's energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. Um, also guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. If you have any other questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. Okay. All right. Let's do this, Cappies. Ooh, ooh, card vomit, card vomit. Using the, um, I'm going to try it again. Santa Muerte. Ah, Santa Muerte day. Okay. <laughs> any messages for my Capricorns? Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Capricorns? Regarding, I can feel all of you bummed out right now. Do not be bummed out. Don't be bummed out. Come on, come on, come on, Capricorns. You're not afraid of a challenge. I know you. Come on. You're fine. You're okay. Just walk it off. <laughs> Sorry, that's like, that's totally me channeling my family's energy right there. Just walk it off. Just walk it off. Anyway, any messages? Sorry, any messages? For, my, my grandfather's laughing. Any messages for Capricorn? Uh, regarding love, September twelfth to the twenty first. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love, September twelfth to the twenty first. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September twelfth to the twenty first. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for my Cappies, September 12th to the 21st? Come on, Capricorns, talk to me. Any mess? Are you mad at me now? Don't be mad at me. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? See what we got here uh sorry ouch I, I felt a very very heavy just oh sinking of my heart chakra with this the world in reverse fixed energy aquarius leo taurus scorpio also saturn which does roll capricorn then we have the king of cups in reverse scorpionic energy could also be air or water oh cappies so there's a cycle ending here it needs to end. I feel like it's a cycle you don't want to end. That's what I'm feeling with this. It's like, I feel like it's something you either had a lot of intention on or you put a lot of your like mental, it feels mental, but you put a lot of your mental energy into and you don't want to see it end. It's attached to an individual here. 
who doesn't exactly have their emotions in check, feeding themselves, themselves, themselves. This person consumes. What is this? It's almost like a vacuum energy I'm getting with this person. Uh, Capricorns, I think this is why you're realizing you need to get away from this person. There's something with this person that like sucks on energy. It's a, a, definitely an energy vampire, but I'm just like, wow. Just like a total vacuum or void. It's like whatever they touch, whoever they come into contact with. <gasps> I don't, I'm not good at noise effects. <laughs> it's just, they just suck the life out of things because they need it for themselves. This person's a vacuum. This is interesting because their emotions are never in check is what I'm getting. Whether they have outbursts or they just come off very stoic. Yeah, you're, yeah, Capricorns. You're, it's like you you know it has to end because you're like, oh, oh, this person is toxic for me. This person's toxic for me. Any other messages for Capricorn? So, some of you are pissed though. I can feel that. Some of you are pissed because you did invest your, your mental energy into this. And Capricorns, when you invest in something, you invest with the intention of making that shit come to fruition. And when it doesn't, you get hella pissed. Any messages for Capricorns? Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Capricorns? Regarding love, Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy with the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. <sighs> Damn it, Capricorn. Yeah, Eight of Swords, I'm getting that fear that I was picking up on. There's something about this person or situation that, that makes you afraid, and it's about something that's happened in the past. Seven of Swords in reverse, that's old crimes. Old crimes, old bad deeds. Stuff that... Oh, stuff they got away with. Stuff they got away with, Capricorn. Oh, shit. Some of you, this is baggage. Honestly, Capricorn, it's like some of you, this tower moment is just a realization about someone from your past that has caused an energetic block for you, and you're just are, are waking up to it. This could have happened years ago. This, again, this is only for some of you, where this is something that's happened in the past, way past, where it's baggage. And it's definitely created a block for you when it comes to romance and relationships, and you're realizing that. that. You're realizing that whatever this person did to you, it's kept you very much uh, trapped in fear when it comes to relationships and love. And you might, and you might not have realized it, because it could have just been in the form of like, having higher standards. Um, and when I say that, it's because, you know, it's not, it's great to have high standards, but it's also an energy of like quickly saying no, right? Quickly saying no to someone and like not giving them a chance because deep down, you're actually just afraid to give them a chance. Some of you, oh yeah, some of you having a really hard time admitting that to yourself. But yeah, I feel like what, okay, that's what this juggernaut is. It's a realization. It's an epiphany. And it does kind of take you down for the count a little bit or out of the count for a little bit because uh, you're realizing like, I have fear. You don't like that. You do not like that. That does not sit well with you at all. Yeah, some of you, this is baggage. Others, it's a person in your life that you know you have to end something with uh, because you're realizing they're just a void. <laughs> a void of energy, okay? Are some of you guys the only sociopath? I don't want to go that far and say that. Um, probably a couple of you are because I'm getting just like a sheer void. A void that just sucks energy into them from other people. Um, but anyway, it is keeping you trapped in fear. It's making, it's putting fear into you. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September twelfth to the twenty first? Others, sorry, we don't, we only have one other card out here, but there's something else I'm picking up on. More of the energy for those in that situation where um, you, it's like there's been some like romantic, sexy like energy between an, you and another person, and then boom, juggernaut, and then it's like after this juggernaut, it really amplifies. You have been dating someone or involved with someone, Capricorn, it could just be someone you're committed to, and it's been great, but then you get this juggernaut and you realize, oh my god, like, it actually could have, like, this could have gone farther, or this could have, you know, we could have gone farther than where we are now, but it's, it's me. I created a block between us. And so you go into hermit mode to deal with this block to release it, okay? Because some of you are realizing you have some baggage that you maybe weren't aware of before, okay? Any other messages? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my, wow. 
<laughs> King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra with the Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Overall energy, that Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Cappies, some of you are seriously having to end a cycle here with someone because it, it's just they're just a void they're just a void and you, it's just no like you just it's not in your best interest and so you have to drop that burden and that'll be really hard for you because there's an emotional connection here and others of you it's this is about baggage i'm starting to feel that for most of you it's about baggage or some pain from your past that's really kept you blocked created a block for you when it comes to love and it, this is going to require a purge cap i'm just being honest with you this is going to require a purge but once you get over that once you like <sighs> let it out oh my god you're gonna you're gonna feel so much lighter and you're gonna have so many more realizations about yourself and about your current relationships for those that are dating where it's like you've been engaged you know dealing with someone and it's like oh my god i've been holding this up i've been holding this up let me deal with this shit so we can like you know expand and grow together and then you will i definitely felt that energy um others singles it's still that same scenario where you're getting this juggernaut of a realization about your baggage and about your pain and about how it's kept you trapped in fear with being open to anyone else in love. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And for those in that romantic scenario, I'm seeing two of you right here. Right there. Not talking to each other very much, by the way. Yeah, there's anxiety between the two of you. Yeah, there's Nine of Swords energy right in between the two of you here. It's really unfortunate too. It's really unfortunate. Um, but you know, Capricorn, it's good that you're aware. It's good that you're realizing this. It's good that you're coming to this awareness because it's only going to help for those in that current relationship. Actually, for anybody, for anybody, it's insight. It's insight. It's going to help you grow. It's going to get rid of this anxiety. It's going to get rid of this anxiety and fear. And it's definitely a, literally a block between you and someone else. Quite literally here. Quite literally. Okay. So Cappies, let's look at the world in reverse. Let's look at the world in reverse. Let's go with right away on this one. Talk about the world in reverse. Capricorn. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be a heavy reading. I can feel it. I can feel the tears from some of you already. I can hear what some of you are saying. And man, this is heavy shit. So I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say any of it, but it's like, I can already feel that some of you guys are, are um, you're feeling it. And if you're feeling it that strongly, then it's like, you know, then you know, this is something you have to look at, something from your past, something you have to let go of. And Capricorns, I will say this one thing. You deserve love and you know you do. And you know you're worthy of it. It doesn't mean that the same thing's going to happen to you again, especially for those of you who are involved with someone. And there's this nine of swords energy between the two of you. You know why that's there. Okay. Tell me about the world in reverse for Capricorn. Tell me about the world in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the world in reverse. For Capricorn. Regarding love. the world in reverse with Capricorn regarding love September 12th to the 21st yeah I feel like someone over here for those in that ooh, for those in that romantic situation I feel like this king of swords has really really uh dropped in their communication with you okay it's really lessened tell me about the world in reverse tell me about the world in reverse for Capricorn Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the world. Oh, jeez. That's a big fat stack. But let's look at it. Oh, yeah. So, Capricorns, let's look at these first three cards here. Five of Cups. It's okay, Cappies. It's okay. Scorpionic energy, and then we have the Four of Swords, Libra energy, and Justice in Reverse, Libra energy. This is you gaining that perspective that understanding and needing to go alone a little bit. Four of Swords is the minor arcana to the major hermit. So it's like a mini hermit energy of grieving and purging. Purging from the injustice you've suffered from at the hands of this King of Cups in reverse. Recognizing it for what it is and taking it as a, le as a lesson learned, okay? Because then, you ready? 
because then let's lighten it up a little bit wheel of fortune jupiter energy and the three of pentacles capricorn energy and the world upright upright fixed energy because it's saturn right for for a few cappies also aquarius leo taurus scorpio this is the wheel turning this is your world expanding this is basically a whole new mountain for you to climb and you guys like to climb mountains you guys just do you guys just do you've climbed a mountain already this is a little bit of a ouch moment an ouch juggernaut realization if you will but look at what you're coming into capricorn and that three of pentacles i do have this energy of, of actually talking to someone talking to someone being social and building with another person three of pentacles there's other people involved it's not just you and capricorns like i said for some of you you already are dealing with another person it's only going to make that stronger it's only going to make that grow and skyrocket okay beautiful energy it's okay to purge it's okay to purge it out we all have wounds and you're just realizing that this has just been a major block for you because you you know you don't want to get hurt again no one wants to get hurt again no one wants to get hurt again but capricorns i think it's also for some of you has put you in a state of like that's all i'm going to experience whether you are have been conscious of that energy or not some of you have been some of you have been very conscious of that play out the world in reverse for capricorn Oh, talk about the world in reverse for Capricorn. Oh, Cappies. Talk about the world in reverse for Capricorn. I already see this person. Some of you, so, oh, whoa, that was, that was a weird little crack in my voice. Some of you, once you deal with this block, look at that, two cups on the bottom. Once you deal with this block and purge it out and you, you know, you just have so much more energetic space, right, to expand another whole, like, mountain to climb and climb even higher than the one you climbed before, some of you will come into a new person for those who are like truly single. Capricorn, someone's been waiting for you to do this. This is interesting. I'm picking up on an energy for some of you where, wait, do you know this? Oh, okay, so this goes for both. Some of you who are truly single and some of you who have been dealing with someone, um, they've been aware that there's something in you they've been aware i don't know what that's about they've been aware that there's something in you that needed to be let out and released and they've just been kind of sitting and waiting <laughs> which is kind of funny to me that's only for some of you that's only for some of you like sitting and waiting for it to happen <laughs> so i thought the world in reverse because they've been ready to take action with you yeah they've been they've been ready they've been ready to to kind of uh go on this mountain climb with you you know they've been ready they just have been needing you to do that then we have strength in reverse, Leo energy. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Letting go of control is actually what I'm getting with this. Letting go of control. Capricorns, this fear that you've had from this bag, and again, for most of you, this is baggage as opposed to someone that you need to wrap things up with. Some of you need to drop this person that you have in your life right now because you got someone else waiting. Someone who is uh, way more uh, giving uh, someone who actually is very grounded and someone who's really ready to take action with you. Okay, so keep that in mind for those where this is happening to you now, where you're dealing with someone who's kind of like a void and just sucking the life out of you, and you're realizing you have to let it go, but you're emotionally attached. Let that shit go. Purge it out because you're gaining enlightenment on what an injustice it is. And they'll get theirs eventually. Everyone does. And then boom, you get to grow and expand and go on a whole new adventure, go on a whole new mountain to climb, and there's someone there who's going to do it with you, okay? So, like I said, a lot of messages for people. Take what resonates. Either way, you're also picking up this uh, lesson of you can't control everything. Bad things happen, and that's not your fault. Bad things don't happen to you. They just happen because there are bad people out there, okay? Sometimes you get hit. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get hit by a car. Sometimes you don't, <laughs> right? And you're realizing that. It's a hard lesson for you, though. I can feel it. It's a hard lesson for some of you, but you're learning that. You're learning to just let things be and that if someone does something terrible, it's about them and has nothing to do with you, even if it hurts at the end of the day. Overall energy, two of cups. Can't steer in energy, soulmate energy. This person, like I said, whether you're dropping them now or this was someone from your past that you have this baggage from, were they a soulmate? Absolutely. And you had a lot of emotion for them. And they loved you in a way they could. And what I mean by that is this person doesn't have a large capacity for unconditional love or to show that in a healthy way. So did they have that emotion for you? Yes, but they're a void. 
their avoid, their capacity to engage in a very healthy relationship is not very big. Yeah, see, Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Oh, and look, and the Seven of Swords again. Yeah, yeah. So, Cappies, if this person, whether this person's from the past or the present, as much as you love them, you know you have to let it go. You have to let go. For those where this someone from the past, you know you have to drop this baggage because it's definitely causing, causing a block in your relationships with someone that you are currently dealing with or dating or in a relationship with now. Or, you know, you have to deal with it to get to that place where you're ready for love and more open to it because you have someone waiting or you're about to meet someone and you won't try to control the situation, okay? All right, now. The Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. I don't really want to clarify these cards because it's basically, it's, yeah, it's going to be redundant. It's going to be redundant of everything I've just said. But I am curious about this energy because this is definitely for someone, uh, for those of you where you are dealing with someone currently. And you have that Nine of Swords and Reverse energy between you. It's definitely a block. And I feel like it's actually grown over time. And it's almost like a, like a, um, like, like, what is that word? Gum. <laughs> you know, that word that word um like when you blow a bubble with gum it's like it builds it builds it builds and then it pops there's been nine of swords building between you and this person since you guys have started whatever it is you've been doing <laughs> some of y'all are doing more than others um and as this has this this block has grown has the bu bubble block <laughs> has grown that popping is you having this juggernaut moment okay of this person from the past and it's gonna be a big purge guys i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be kind of a day it might even be a week for for some of you where it was a really really traumatic relationship either way it will pop this bubble between the two of you and you guys can get back on track and go about you know your business climbing the mountain or each other okay so let's look at the nine of swords in reverse keep in mind this person who's gonna climb this mountain with you is a kindred spirit is a true pair definitely a true pair so let's look at the nine of swords in reverse mm. oh gilded let's do gilded so we have the nine of swords in reverse for capricorn regarding love tell me what the nine of swords in reverse for capricorn regarding love september 12th to the 21st Yeah, Cappies, I'm getting really strong. You can't stop this juggernaut. You can't. And it's only for your betterment. Only for your betterment. So I have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it's it's interesting, Cappy. I, I'm getting that for those where, you, like I said, you've been dealing with someone or you're dating someone, you're committed to someone, and then this bubble of Nine of Swords ex expanding between the two of you pops, you have your juggernaut moment, and then that dissipates. I get that they have been, like speaking less and less but you have actually been like taking less and less action which is interesting so they've cut back on the verbal you've cut back on the passion and action okay and that's because you're you're afraid it's because you're afraid and it's okay to admit it it's not a scary word okay play with nine of swords in reverse play with nine of swords in reverse for capricorn Talking about Nine of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. What did I say? Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, and the Nine of Swords. You haven't, you've been putting less and less action. Eight of Pentacles is effort, it's time, right? You've been putting less and less of that because you're afraid. You're afraid and you're anxious. And it's, it's had an effect on the other person, too. And they've been talking less and less because it's like, oh, is Cappy not into me? Is Cappy not into me? They're not giving me their time. Okay, I guess I'm just going to go over here. You know, it's, like, it's an energy like that. It's been between both of you. But look, it's ending. World in reverse. Fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn, Trolls, Capricorn. That is coming to an end. That's coming to an end. I also feel that this is part of the juggernaut moment. It's going to happen at night. I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to happen at night. Could even be like when you're about to go to bed or when you're watching a movie or something and you just have that epiphany moment. Yeah. Anyway, okay, let's keep it moving. So I have the Nine of Swords in reverse 
for cat. Oh, I love it. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. I love this. I freaking love this. So look at this energy. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Also my pre-empress card, and then we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy for me as a reader, the Hanged Man, Piscean energy, and the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Capricorn, as you release this baggage, or just release this person, and then you go and climb your mountain with this new person, um, that Nine of Pentacles energy is you finding your stability. It's finding your stability again. It's finding your feet again. Okay, everything is right in the world. <laughs> everything is right in the world. With this Two of Cups in a verse and the Hanged Man Piscean energy, this is you, again, more of that juggernaut energy, right? Accepting it. Accepting it and releasing it. And again, for those where you're in that romantic situation already with someone else, uh, it's like, it's meditation. It's heavy meditation to get to a Ten of Pentacles, to get from the Nine to the Ten, to basically be like, okay, I do need to be open to love. Because if I'm open to love, I will get to the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, that's been a block for you to get to the Ten of Pentacles is just that component of being open and not being afraid that another person is going to hurt you or deceive you or destroy you, okay? Whether it's business or romance or otherwise, because it's you and your stability in your independence and realizing, okay, maybe I've been too independent. Maybe I've been too independent because deep down, I just see that person and everyone. I know. I know, I know cappies, but you're meditating on it with the hangman energy because you do want a 10 of pentacles and a 10 of pentacles. Can you build that on your own? Very seldomly, very seldomly, unless the universe is highly blessing you. Um, but with the 10 of pentacles, that is adding to your life. That's adding people to your life. That's adding home and family to your life as well. And Capricorns, you realize that that's what you want. That is what you want. And even if it's just building a business, eventually... You need a helping hand, which means you need to be able to trust people and not have to control a situation. I know Capricorns, I'm just speaking some real tea to you right now. Some, it's triggering some of you, I can feel it, it's triggering some of you. And those of you that are triggered, sit down and meditate and ask yourself why you're triggered, okay? Because it's when we're triggered, it's just poking at a wound, okay? Overall energy though, Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. I feel like this is the energy that you're dealing with. Yeah, this is the energy that you're dealing with currently for those in that romantic scenario, okay? Could you have dealt with another emperor? Oh, some of you did. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, there's something about this new person that reminds you of this old person. And I think that's that's also, that's also why you're also a little extra triggered here. That's why you're a little... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's something similar about these two people, about this person from your past and this newer newer person. And again, for those where you're letting this person go... The person that you're currently involved with because they're a void and they just snatch and take from you you're going to be meeting a new person and you're like oh you're a lot like someone i remember <laughs> don't let that scare you they're not the same people they're just not but when this anxiety and fear takes over and starts to build that little bubble wall between the two of you it makes them a little insecure it makes them feel like, like, damn, Cappy's not into me. Like, what the fuck? You know, it makes them feel like that. It makes them feel like that. So again, everything that, you know, all these things are really um, good to just be aware of Capricorn. When that juggernaut comes in, just like accept it and like deal with it because it, it will lead to a lot of amazingness. Look at this. It's going to lead to amazingness. 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 Okay. All right. Let's get some advice for you guys and then we'll wrap it up. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? It might just be the way they look. I don't know why. For some of you, it's just going to be aesthetics. That's the similarity. For some of you, it's just going to be aesthetics. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread?
any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? <clears throat> Otter Spirit wanted to come out. I saw it. I saw it. If it wants to come out, it'll come out. But I saw it was like, it was teetering. And I was like, are you going to come out? <laughs> we'll see. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Oh, Turtle Spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. 62 breaking down to an eight. I love this. I love this. Take your time, Cappies. Take your time with dealing with these emotions and baggage from this juggernaut moment, okay? Um, take your time with this. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. And if this new person is that triggering, baby steps, okay? Baby steps with this new person, especially if they're that similar. Again, I'm getting for most of you, it's just aesthetics. They're really similar. Um, you know, some people have a type, just saying. Um, baby steps, baby steps. Triggers happen for a reason, nothing wrong with that. All right. Basically, triggers happen for a reason to, to bring your attention to something that you need to fix or deal with. So now we have, oh, Capricorns, I love this. Eagle Spirit, Spirit has your back, 23 breaking down to a five, and Bat Spirit, a rebirth is assured, another five. Again, very indicative of a tower, especially if we get three. But this, you're, this has to happen. This juggernaut is inevitable, and with Eagle Spirit here, that's usually indicative of the divine for me or spirit being at hand in this or close to you at this time or a spirit guide in general helping you through this because it is really putting you in a place of feeling renewed again some of you haven't realized you've been carrying around fear some of you haven't realized you've been carrying around a major block to relationships some of you have not realized that and this is that moment of realizing it and the, and you got they got your back they literally got your back they're helping you through this your ancestors your guides spirit the divine, whatever you want to call it, that is helping you get through this. They want they wanted you to experience this. They wanted you to experience this. Because you have you you had to. You had to. You had to. Okay. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? All right, now we've got, oh, I love it. Cat spirit, claim your independence. 13, breaking down to a four, and grasshopper spirit, take the leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a three. I love this Capricorn with cat spirit. I feel like that's just you finding your legs again, right? What did I say? All right, everything's okay in the world. Everything's okay. Again, very independent energy. Everything's okay. Everything's cool. For some of you, this this past person, or again, if this is a person that you realize you have to separate yourself from, because that's the case for some of you, um, you're also realizing that codependence was a big part of that. Codependence was a really big part of that. And so some of you are working on that issue in the midst of dealing with purging and healing and letting go of that. Um, being strong on your own, being fortified on your own, and also understanding that Having a healthy dose of independence in relationships is very key to a healthy relationship. It's, it's key to an interdependent relationship. And grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith, is like, just go there, Capricorn. Don't be afraid to go there. Don't be afraid to face this wound. Don't be afraid to face this baggage. Don't be afraid to close out this relationship with this person because it's only going to make you stronger. And it's going to help you rise a lot higher as well. You ready for the bottom? I love this card. Ant spirit. Oh, camera freaked out real good on that one. With the energy of one, time to collaborate. This is a very Three of Pentacles energy for me, which you did have smack dab in the middle. Hold on. Smack dab in the middle of Wheel of Fortune in the world. Like I said, some of you, there's a new person you haven't met yet who's been waiting for you to get through. What? No. For some of you, you have a new person that's waiting for you on the other side of this purge to work with, to, you know, start building and climbing that mountain again, or each other. Others of you, there is someone in your life who's been, who's been seeing this in you, who's been seeing this block in you and they want to collaborate with you. They want to build with you. They want to create, I'm getting create. They want to create with you and they've been waiting for you to get through this block. Others, it's someone you've been romantically involved with and you can start really working together in a healthier way to go even farther with each other. Okay. It's time Capricorn. It's time. It's time. It's time to purge. 
time to fortify yourself and time to be reborn in a sense okay all right capricorns i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night cappies namaste